So today we are getting into a game that I think I think it's going to take us down a really really conflicting and dark path. Today we're playing for the very first time ever, which by the way the game just released. Today we're playing Paradise Lost. So this is a game that I've had on my Steam wish list for about 2 months now and this is the first time that I actually add a game to my wish list before it gets released and and then it, it just felt really cool today getting a notification saying hey you know this game is officially out it was completely unexpected and i'm just really hoping that this game is good okay i know it's about two hours long so it's not too crazy but uh from the videos that i've seen and stuff like that it looks like it's gonna take us down a road similar to the game firewatch i don't know if you guys recall when we played that game it was an absolute brain fuck towards the end of the game and, and i feel like this might this might take us there it is winter in 1980 simon a boy raised in a post-apocalyptic wasteland finds an abandoned nazi bunker will he find what he's looking for play paradise lost and explore an underground world where slavic slavic mythology mixes with the retro futuristic technology discover the last story on earth it's one of those games where it's gonna take us down a path that we're probably gonna be shocked or we're probably gonna say well this game sucked and i kind of want to find out i've been intrigued by this game for almost two months now and here we are if you guys think we should make this into a full series make sure you guys let me know in the comments drop the video a like if that's something you're into i'm gonna play it for about an hour maybe a little bit over and and, and get a feel for it the only drawback that i've heard is just the walking might be a little too slow but the atmosphere, you know, you know. Hmm. Terminal authorized security scan in progress. Unauthorized individual detected. Biometric data unavailable. Proceeding to emergency lockdown. So are we that red dot over there? Please be good. Just please, please end this story on a good note, please. This has got a recipe for success. You know, everything that happened in World War II was absolutely horrific. But you know, it's it's an interesting topic to be completely honest, whether it's in a movie or it's just history in general to me is fascinating. I'm really hoping for this to be to be good it's only two and a half hours so shouldn't be too bad but let's see <sighs> it's probably gonna be filled with emotions and god knows what footsteps and they're recent too so is that us denial
Okay. Yo, this environment is crazy. <laughs> I'm scared of the dark too. This is how we fight it. See? <laughs> and now mom is going to make it all warm and cozy and you tidy up your toys, okay? We having a memory when we were a It'll baby? Be warm in no time. Nobody likes when it's cold, right? I mean... Maybe when you're big and strong, the winter will go away. What do you think? Yeah, that's what I thought. There's no way of knowing. We just have to take it day by day. Did I tell you how brave you are? Well, even if I did, I don't say it enough. You think I'm boring, hmm? But that's what being a mom is all about. Being boring. Time to sleep, little one. Yeah, these are definitely, definitely no memories. No matter how dark the night, the new day sun will rise. Amen, <clears throat> Tayote. I mean, it only makes sense considering we're probably just gonna start playing with this guy he's a 12 year old remember 12 or 13 he's, he's a young boy and i would assume that we're gonna have some sort of flashbacks to kind of uh you know learn about this kid's past the environment is insane <laughs> my god very 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 mysterious and a little creepy there I'm not gonna lie interact and let's see what do we have here May 19th of 1960 I'm afraid morale is continuing to decline some of the men are getting restless I suspect some of them have realized that their overlutent knows as little as they do no idea what that is I'm sorry okay third grade reading here I concur. I understand that our mission is top secret, but uh, we are possibly the best equipped unit in the entire German army. Or German army. And our purpose still remains a mystery to us. We are set on a veritable mountain of rifles, mortars, grenades, missiles, uh, and state-of-the-art machinery that has never been tested. We've even had a cutting-edge communication system, yet no sign of incoming transmissions when will we take the fight to the enemy? Ooh, yeah, this is going to be one of those games, man. Oof. What do we have here? A lot of reading, I see. Surveillance reports. I was dispatched to level 00 and 942 to patrol hatch... 061B, the northernmost entrance of the shelter. Upon arrival at the shelter door, I observed, as usual, that nothing had changed. The door was sealed, and I again encountered zero trespassers. That concludes my daily report, of which, of course, no one ever bothers to read. Um, okay. So, again, like I said, the only bad thing about this game was just the... Uh oh, we can sprint a little bit. Okay. Very little, though. Very little. Okay, so we came from here. There's nothing else here. Okay, we're heading downstairs. It's a little creepy. I don't... I didn't look in, into this game as much as, like, to know if there's monsters or anything. I'm gonna say there isn't. It's just gonna be one of those really deep mysterious stories and environments until and so eventually things probably will start happening but right now right now we should be good we're gonna squeeze through here please do not give me any damn jump scare right now because i will freak out this is not what this game is about okay this game is about story thick plots 
Well, PTSD, here we go. What was that? Oh, that's what her mom and dad. Is everything all right? It's nothing. It didn't sound like nothing. Well, are you going to bring me that rotor or not? It's broken. Why didn't you say so? Mom? Who's this? That's, it's no one. That's not dad. Do you understand? It's no one. Okay, so we have, we're probably gonna have consequences in these answers that we give. So we're probably gonna want to be truthful. I had no idea. We just kind of realized there, we lied to her. So she kind of flipped out a little bit. I don't like how dark this game is. And, and this is probably what I want to say. It's going to be the bunker. We just probably haven't realized it yet. But since we know the game synopsis, we kind of know what we're getting into. Kind of, sort of. What is this here? Okay, so we're going to need to interact, move. The, the moving is <laughs> really slow. Holy crap. Okay, what is this? Okay, we definitely want to turn that off. Whoa, dude. the elevator okay these types of games when we're playing a game and we find out about a story little by little and there's some sort of like a little pinch of mystery i know i know you guys like these sorts of games and that's why i, I put this on my wish list and i've been eyeing it for quite some time now i just i felt like you guys probably would enjoy this <gasps> that's why we are here oh my god who is that guy? Could that be our father? That's just a zoom. You don't even run faster. It's just a zoom. You do run fa I don't know. Imagine if there's somewhere like this. Fuck, how crazy would that be? I mean, I wouldn't go in it. It could be abandoned and all, but you're not gonna see me in there, okay? I don't play, I don't play that. Okay, as long as nobody pops out of these cubicles or, you know. What do we have here? Geborgen, observe, I'm sorry, these, these, I don't, I don't read this language, I'm sorry. 
something April 18th of 1960. God, where are the subtitles? It would have been nice if the game would have read this to us, right? All the notes. <laughs> then it would literally just be a walking simulator. Well, it is kind of like a walking, a walking simulator, but we'll see. Oh, more notes. Nice. So now this is luggage from people that were here back in the days, right? So, dear grandma, you won't believe who's on the train with me. Great Muller. I know that's a different pronunciation, but let's just pretend here. You were just playing her record to me. She's so elegant. I wish I could talk to her, but she has her own car and no one's allowed inside. Hmm. There's also a cartoonist from uh, that newspaper you always read. He even drew a picture of the viewer for me. Okay. But I think uh, he made Goring. So I'm going to try and pronounce these names as if they were English names like you know, a we kind of read and spell. Just disregard. But I think he made a Goring uh, look a little slimmer than... Or... Jesus Christ. But I think he made Goring look a little slimmer than he really is. It is an honor to be on the same train as so many talented people. I'm so sorry that I didn't get to say goodbye. It came when you were away and were so impatient and rude. Nothing like I imagined they'd be. But at least they promised to deliver this goodbye letter. I hope this finds you well. Love you, Adela. Well, that never got to Grandma. And that was, what, 20 years ago? Grandma could still be alive, hey. You never know. Probably not. Now, mind you, he's kind of having issues because he's 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 only a teenager. He's in his early teens. This this character we're playing with, he's not very tall. So, you know, you kind of have a mental note of that. Okay, more luggage. I'm leaving. Do you hear me? And you're not going to stop me. I don't want to spend my whole life here. Mama. Mama, are you okay? Mama Shu? No. Oh, crap. Mr. Batchaber, I'm writing to you because I have a favor to ask. I understand that it is no longer my place to intervene since all of my worldly assets are now legally yours. But I hope you will grant me this final favor in any case. I am sure that the first thing you are planning to do is cut down that beech tree stood in the yard. However, the family of blackbirds has built a nest there. Please make sure to relocate the nest before cutting down the tree. P.S. Next time, I should remember to buy a train ticket from someone who somewhat resembles me. We look nothing alike, not to mention your passport photograph. Alas, you are the only person I know of. And all of the uh, Bavaria who was granted this ticket. These are just letters from, you know, specific individuals that were in this train. What is this? So they can actually do something similar to this, but with like the Titanic. Like imagine if somebody explores the Titanic, you know, and you know, it's obviously it's still down below, but they can go through all of the belongings and all the history that it has. I don't know. I'm sure somebody can make a game like that work one way or another, right? What do we have here? This is actually very neat too. Walk colonist, you are advised that only one suitcase per person will be allowed in Gazel Shaft. Or Jezel Shaft. All additional belongings will be disposed of. Disposed of upon arrival. This will be enforced by the SS race and settlement main office, Russia. 
there will be no exceptions. One baggage per person. Great. Well, that's cute. Wonder if we can do anything with this. Not at all. so creepy <laughs> there's like nobody here which makes it really really bad the minute somebody pops up here i'm gonna freak the hell out okay there's an entrance right here okay so we can pull that lever but before let's check this out dear leopold many times i prayed please god make me ig ignorance Make me blind to what is clearly in front of me. I'm just a simple me uh, me mechanist doing what is asked of him. But in my heart, I always knew the day would come when I had to pay for all of these years of looking the other way. What pains me even more is that now the day has finally come and you're the one who must suffer the consequences, not me. Today I lose a friend and I cannot help but wonder if I had to be this way. If it had to be this way, maybe... If I found the courage to question my orders, I'd have known this would be our final journey together. I salute you, my old friend. I'm truly sorry that I had to end like this. Again, I'm sorry for my... <laughs> God, my reading sucks. Man, it's been a long time since I've been in school. Honestly, the only way I've kept up with my reading skills is through video games. You know, what can I say? I've, I've got to be honest here. This is probably going to be for... I was going to say this is probably going to be for each side of the gate, but it looks like.
Okay. Oh, here it is. Hello? Is there anybody out there? I know for a fact we're gonna find somebody. There's just, this is the type of game it is. There's no way we can just walk and walk and walk and not find a single soul. I, I refuse to believe it. There's freaking light here for the love of God. A recording. I thought it was this guy. Mm. Oh shit! This is like Metro X. Uh, what's that game we played? Uh, Metro Exodus was it? God, I'm so bad with names. Fuck. Why is it so cold here? Who died here? Don't worry, Mom. I'll be okay what I'm going to do now. Uh, what am I going to do now, Mom? Mom, I can't do this without you. Wait. Hold on. Don't worry, Mom. I'll be okay. What am I going to do now, Mom? Mom, I can't do this without... What? So See you, Mom. Oh my god. How did she die? This country is depressing, bro. Look at this. Fuck. At least this time of year is depressing. I mean, I I, I wish it would snow where I'm at, but Jesus. Oh man, poor kid. He lost his mom, and it seems like that was pretty much the only family we had left. Oh, zero one. Remember, we're looking for zero four. <sighs> bedroom here open up the cabinets what do we have here absolutely pointless oh shit yeah whatever you're gonna do with that don't do it okay just put it down yep there you go good boy and I disappoint your mother. I forgot his. I forgot his name. <laughs> what was his name again? Hold on, it's driving me nuts. Uh, our character's name was. Uh, what was his freaking name? Simon. That was our character's name, Simon. Okay, nothing else here. 
So it's weird because considering this is a game where you have to go back and explore as much as you can just to get a little bit of a better idea of what the game's about. I wish the walking would be faster. And I mean, I, I kind of knew this going into it. That's pretty much the drawback that the only negative thing that I've seen about this game. But I really wish, I don't know, that would, and I don't know how sometimes some devs, man, like they have the perfect game, something nice and interesting and they, they just can't. They mess it up with something so silly. This is probably going to be logged here. Okay, now I'm intrigued. What, what if I would have squeezed through the other side? I'm sorry. One little Elderweez, my little Elderweez. Beautiful, noble, and white. Otherwise, I don't, I don't know. I really want to know what the hell is going on here. Look at this. Ooh, this is quite wild, my friends. easily be a horror game and it could be such an effective one it's, it's not even funny it's not even meant to be a horror and it's a little spooky letter of invitation io schmidt schmidt it. we are pleased to announce that thanks to uh, your extraordinary achievements in the field of motherhood you have been invited to the to join just Jez shaft you as well as another recipient of the honor cross of German motherhood recognized by the Bund Dutch Modell are scheduled to, jo to join Dessel Shaft uh, on May 19th, 1960. Please bring your Oswe's, Jesus, I'm so sorry, with you. As this letter of invitation is not a valid entry ticket in itself, you're also reminded to review the official packing list provided by the SS race and settlement. Man, what is that fucking noise? No. This is probably her, huh? Okay, this is actually getting creepy here. Laura, look at the reflection, so nice. One oh two, that's cute. So if if you pay attention, all the luggage that we're going through, it's it's pretty much people that were here many, many years ago. We're we're walking through ancient history here. This is fucking crazy. In order to enter the Jezel shaft, follow these step-by-step -step instructions. Have your Oswe's, Oswe's, Oswe's ready. Form a line at the window. Give the clerk your Oswe's for stamping. Take your stamped identification and proceed to the entry point in an orderly fashion. Scan your stampede at the entrance console. Your stampede is your ticket to the... Okay. 
So we're gonna have to, uh, we already stamped it ourselves, so we're gonna have to scan it. I don't know if it's gonna make a difference, considering there's nobody here, really. Or at least we think there's not. I'm just not convinced, dude. There's too much light here, too much electricity. One suitcase per person. Slacks, one personal item, fountain pen, no bigger than 10. Okay. Not allowed uh, food products, including bread, cake, pastry, pastries, chocolate. Okay. So. Stamp it right here. Perfect. Scan it, I'm sorry. So we had to actually even do that ourselves. If not, the gate wouldn't have opened. But we could have just climbed over. I mean, you know. It's, it's cannot believe everything works. What is going on? This is not normal. These the things are not supposed to work like this. Is there anything back here? Russia officials, I am not pleased. I was taken from the front line in the midst of an assault on, an, uh, on the enemy and the hidden underground, like and then hit underground like a coward, just because there may be a need for someone in my position to protect high ranking uh, dignitaries. The mayor may not arrive at the shelter. I have been preparing the attack for weeks and was denied the opportunity to ensure its success. I was told soon there will no longer be such a thing as a front line. And you should consider this an honor. The audacity. I'm requesting reassignment to my previous post without delay. Hail Hitler. Thanks. Nah, fam. Not about that. And we ain't hailing nobody around here, okay? Sorry, bucko. Somebody's watching. Welcome in. Welcome in. What does that mean? Welcome? All arrivals, welcome to Jezelshaft. You are now located in the greetings chamber. Due to the higher air pressure, you may experience some discomforts. Do not be alarmed. Your body will soon adjust to the new conditions. Staying in Jezelshaft is a guarantee of safety, innovation, and freedom from, uh, from any blood crimes. All of you have been carefully chosen by the Office of Racial Policy to continue with uh, the, uh, the thousand year race reach here uh where the degradation of the outside world cannot reach you uh, here where the phys physically and mentally inferior cannot prep prep perpetuate their suffering into the body of their children jesus my reading sucks and even though you're far below the surface it is a historical record that solitude provides the conditions the greatest of societies So, fuck that. Who opened the elevator? The oh, shit. That's, a, that's an eagle. Sorry. We've already... I'm sorry. Okay, there are cameras here. Nobody would have just opened the door to an elevator when I was not really pressing any buttons unless they knew we were here. What is going on? stuck here you are dead you will literally die in the elevator denial and it comes anger Whew. 
that guy dude was our father what if our father worked here it's gotta be that Guidelines of operations emergence. Uh, since the Soviet Union remains our enemy, and it is uncertain how long the USA will maintain neutrality, our priority must be producing large amounts of atomic weaponry, developing a method of deploying said weaponry at long distances. If we are unable to complete either of these points and do not destroy the reaches of us enemies, we must prepare for plan B. That is, temporarily disabling the enemy with all available atomic weaponry. Providing shelter to the Volk and preparing them for the final battle. Here, is, uh, here are its core elements. Finish work on the quell. Uh, program as quickly as possible. Build the network. Radiation proof bunkers suitable for 15 plus years of inhabitation. Prepare a tactical nuclear weapon. Prepare plans to evacuate the most valuable members of society. Once the enemy encroaches uh, on reach soil, evacuate uh, said citizens to the bunkers. Attack the enemy with all available atomic weaponry. Uh, temporarily disabling them and safeguarding the area via radiation. Train a society of warriors and the bunkers who will perfect and produce new weaponry. Return to the surface and defeat the enemy once and for all. Now it makes sense. First, Hugo, sure, Chief of Infantry Training. Dear Colonel, I have just received the proposed training guidelines for the National Guard of the Third Reach program, which is meant to prepare the children for enlistments to the Volkswash. Uh, their author is a certain Major Horst Koshik. I sincerely doubt, uh, said Major. Um, I sincerely doubt said Major Kashik has ever met a child. No one who has, uh, no one who has, uh, would add items such as loading bullets into a rifle to develop coordination to a program for five year olds. I firmly request that you reject this program and recreate a new one with assistance of human development psychologists. Uh, they will be able to bring to bear expert knowledge of the mental and motor capabilities of children at various stages of development. And unlike Major Kashik, We'll have some notion of what uh, constitutes proper pedag pedagog pe pedagogy. Yo, Hitler. Uh, no, like that. Oh, God, this is painful to read. I'm sorry. I thought the door was going to close on me. What do we have here? SS transcription of recorded conversations between mm -hmm, and director of mm -hmm. what the fuck's uh, what in fuck's name are your certain play uh, are your credits playing at I still do not have any splits or sp any spelt if you're under the impression that I'll wait to harvest let me clear that out for you right now I won't GL Everyone suddenly lost their fucking minds over that grain. 30 times a day, they call me from that Vaterland from the Bohemian and Moravian protectorates. 
even from France, all ranting about some stupid wheat. Countless generations since the Middle Ages never touched the stuff. Didn't seem to mind. And didn't seem to mind. MP, I mind. I have orders to ensure the delivery is completed. Geo. Grain is in a widget. Can't just churn out more. Do you think I have been trying to find some? Write a complaint. The Ministry of Agriculture. It is really late here. And I have been reading a little far too much right now. Oh. The acceptance speech for uh, Professor Kurtz, winner of the 25th ju Jubilee, the third. Okay, so we have successfully created a computing machine whose processing power is at least 50 times, uh, 50,000 times greater than that of the American um, ENIAC. ENIAC. Its construction employs newly discovered methods of neural communication and hippocampus sustained by uh, faint electrical impulses and the activation of normally unused parts of the brain. Its interface allows it to simultaneously process and store information while it uses it for process management. We predict an operational period of four years. After that, its processing power will start to decline, potentially threatening system ability. somebody here bro fuck this somebody there bro i don't care what anybody says there is somebody out there <gasps> huh i'm telling you man you out of curiosity who are you i came here to look for things to scaven just like you i mean that's why you are here right oh you can tell me i'm gonna be honest uh i don't trust her no I'm looking for someone. Um, mm, I haven't seen anyone else here. But hey, I can help you with that. I'm in some sort of control center, so I've got a pretty good view of things. There are cameras, switches, and whatnot in here. I could help you find whoever it is you're looking for. What do you say? 
How can I trust you? I don't know, just trust me. Somehow I got myself locked in here. So I just need you to find the control room and get me out. You help me and I help you. That is called a quick pro quo. I know what it's called. All right, all right. So, will you help me? I mean, what, what the hell? Dobrze, I will help you. Tell me how. So, I have this map and I think I figured it out. We are on level two. Um, should be minus two if you ask me. Anyway, the room you're in is connected to a warehouse that leads to the forge. And that's where the control room should be. And that's where you are? That's right. Just come here and get me out before I completely lose my mind. Oh, as a gesture of goodwill, I'll even open the door for you. Voila. So, I guess I should get going. Yep. Be careful out there. I... Did you want to say something? Never mind. Don't worry. Sometimes I forget what I wanted to say as well. I'm not going anywhere, so if you see a microphone, you can say hi or whatever. Dude, I don't trust that. Biatch. I'm sorry. Listen. I don't. Like her. I, her demeanor is so bad. Why? Why were those the only options? What? And it's obviously a game that it doesn't matter what I choose. I'm still going to have to go through certain things. So might as well be nice to her. Do I know that I can trust her? Of course I know I can't trust her. This place is made of salt. I mean the cave, not the warehouse. I figured I would entertain with some facts about this place. Mm. That might have been the only fact I know about this place. Wait, I thought you were just scattered. The warehouse. So you will be hearing from me. Well, that's good. At least we got some sort of voice talking to us now. It's not just pure silence. Hey, you want to read for me too? That'd be very helpful. Uh, so Ministry of uh, Armaments and Munitions directed to the reclamation of materials left behind after evacuation. So the first supplies available to the colonists will be any metal, wood, or leather that can be salvaged from the trains used in operations under Tachin submergence. It should thus be thoroughly stri uh, stripped and the materials refurbished to uh, and put to immediate use. All colonists are reminded that by the time it is abandoned, the bunker should have produced arms and provisions for at least two divisions, to the extent supplies and ca uh, capacities allow. Research and development work must also be undertaken on refining conventional arms and developing new weapons to ensure victory. down the ladder any slower. <laughs> Fuck. It doesn't look like you're getting out of there so easily. I can't get through. I can see that. I have an idea. 
but I need your help. What should I do? Do you see that crane? I think I can control it from here. But first we have to release it from that thing. Can you do something about that? I can try. Yeah, what, what, what crane are we talking that about? Lever. You need to pull it. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, lady. Give me a sec here. I don't know. She sounds a little friendly, but I don't know, man. I, I, just, I don't trust. I don't trust her. Yeah, let's go to the lever and pull it and see what happens. Is it that over there? Oh my goodness. Here we go. Got it. Oh shit. Can I pull the other lever now? And it'll... Let's go ahead and try that. I don't think there's anything else. Right? God, the walking is killing me! Man, I can't even interact with this anymore. What is going on here? Okay, maybe I should go and push the button. That's probably what it is. What are you planning to do with that rocket? Be quiet, I need to focus. Oops. Watch out! It might blow up! It won't blow up! Don't! Are you alright? How did you know it wouldn't blow up? I didn't. So you risk my life? Hey, I got you out of there, didn't I? Anyway, I don't see any cameras in there. So I'll meet you on the other side. Oh my god. The <laughs> fuck? I'm, I'm really hoping that she is in fact somebody here that's willing to help versus just trying to kill us or something. If you recall when we played Firewatch, we had this voice, of, you know, throughout the entire game that was supposed to be of aid, you know? And it ended up being somebody that kind of fucked with us. So, that's, that's kind of like the vibe that I'm getting. I don't trust these sorts of games anymore. When you're scarred for life in certain video games, you just, just can't trust them anymore. got bullet holes so something happened
is creepy. Squeeze in through there. Yeah. What do we have here? We must be very quiet, all right? Listen to the clattering of the train. They died. Really? Look at the holes. When you think about it, we're holes. very lucky it is so cold. Rails don't like hot weather. When steel heats up, it increases in volume. It bulges and strains until finally it can pop free of its restraints. The train might even derail. But we are in no danger of that because it's winter. We'll reach our destination, I promise. That's so sad. Damn, that sucks. One thing does tell me that if this lady over the over the speaker was telling us to meet her on the other side, if we're getting close to the other side and nothing happens between us and her, whether it's meeting her or seeing her, then that's only gonna lead us to believe that she's only leading us on. It's it's so obvious though. It's like, dude, you know you want to kill us. You know you're bad. Stop fucking with me, man. Clear. Got a good old gun just hanging out there chilling. Why can't I pick up a gun? Somebody give me a somebody give me a gun right now. There's so much weapons here, like so many weapons. What happened here? Oh shit. That's blood. What up, blood? What up, gang? Stop. yourself together. 50 cent right now, me. somehow gonna Hello? get the bullet and oh wait a minute no no this is the right room isn't it wait 
Why is she not here? Oh, fuck. What did I tell you? She lied, dude. She freaking lied. Clearly left. Oh, what a fucking liar. Hey, where are you? What do you mean? I'm still here waiting for you. I'm in the room you told me to go to. What? That's impossible. What is wrong with you? Is this another one of your tricks? No, I'm not playing any games with you. Then why did you lie to me? I didn't. I didn't lie, okay? Oh, this goddamn place. I really thought it was here. <sighs> it really means a lot that you trusted me. I'm sorry I disappointed you. The truth is, I don't know what's happening to me. I've been locked in here for I don't know how long and I'm getting really scared. I guess what I'm trying to say is that you are my only hope. Hope isn't going to help me find a way. You're right. What are you doing? Just give me a second. Yes, I got it. It says here, you're in a control room, right? So you're probably talking through an EVE console. I guess. That machine has control over the entire area. We should be able to get access to the maps, doors, shafts, everything. But the screen says it needs a memory tube. Huh. I wonder what that's for. See if you can find one lying around. I'm looking it up right now. It says here that the memory tubes have something to do with the oversight system for the whole bunker. They recorded events back when the system was still working. Hmm. Could it be this? Yes, that's what it is. Perfect. Got inserted in the middle. There we go. Second civilian survival. What?
get used to those. We shut this thing down as soon as we have our people. So, focus. Right. It's an all-out war up there. We need to do something. The protocol won't let me. Then change the fucking protocol! We could do that. Fuck, man. Allow the offensive. Deploy our troops to forge. No, it chooses for you. That was pretty horrific. Yeah. It's like the bunker was trying to defend itself. By any means necessary. I guess that's all war really is in the end. People killing each other in desperation. Did it end? Did what end? The war. Did the war end? I think so. I don't really know. Yeah, no one tells me anything either. So... What was it like where you came from? There's no one out there. Everything is dead. That's... That's sad to hear. So... What do you do now? Now, I have access to the control system in this area. And I can let you out of this room. I'll study the map and try to find the central control room. Go straight through the forge. There should be a passage down there. man hopefully this trick doesn't kill us let's just pray here we go lady whatever you do do not kill me okay I'm just a child I am just a child oh this is crazy cool though so this is where all the trains were supposed to go Did it? Or did they? Hmm. It's a dead end. What? There's no way to keep going. According to my map, there should be a pipe there. It leads directly to the living area. Can't you see it? So? You expect me to jump? Hmm. Listen, I wouldn't have let you here if I didn't think you could do it. Is that really the only way down? I'm afraid so. From this part of the bunker, at least. You trusted me once. I just need you to trust me again. That pipe is part of the cooling system for this forge. There's a small reservoir at the end that should soften your landing. At least there should be. Should be? You mean you aren't sure? It's been so long since anything on you was working, it's anyone's guess if it's still there. But I'm willing to bet that it is. You said the world outside is lifeless, right? So what? So even though it's an empty, unforgiving place, 
You survived. You are a fighter. You can do it. What will happen if I don't jump? Have you ever felt helpless? Like you have no control over the things going on around you? Like you have to just accept whatever happens next? No matter how painful it is? Things don't have to be like that this time. You're in control now. So, to answer your question, if you don't jump, there's a chance you'll end up asking yourself what if. And that's an awful feeling. God, this lady's okay. giving me a guilt trip. I will do it. <laughs> I will jump. Everything's going to be alright, trust me. You can swim. Oh, God. I hate to admit it, but she was right. She was right. Yeah, this doesn't make things any better because this is disgusting and yet very creepy. That's how we get there. What is this place? What the fuck? What the hell? Dude, from afar, I could have sworn this box here was actually a guy sitting down looking across. But maybe that's just confirmation that I am in fact going crazy. This game, in fact, is driving me insane. Yeah, I just want to make sure there's nothing here, like you see. Let's just go up here, dude. I feel like I'm... <sighs> this game needs the walking speed to multiply by three. I'm gonna take a quick shower here. Mm. Refreshing. Nice. This is very creepy, dude. <laughs> Mind you, we're still in some sort of underground shaft. or I don't know what... What is even to call this anymore, but for you walk in the presence of Titans. It's a memorial. They must have died in the battle I saw in the recording. side. Mm. 
negative. Okay. Wow, look at the wood. Holy cow. Okay, let's see if there's anything that we can... I think there's some music playing in there, huh? See, the thing with the with the walking speed is that it's so slow that it makes trying to go around and find extra clues a little bit tedious. It just needs if I mean it's gonna be if it's gonna be that slow, at least give us a sprint button, you know? Or make the, the, the walking two, three times faster. It's a little bit too slow, man. We gotta go up through the oh, in through the window. Is anyone here? Oh fuck, there's somebody there. God, this is so creepy. Order number 210. Effective immediately. All the cameras in the compound are to be disabled until the debugging of each room takes place. All of the communications that pertain to the matters of production, strategy, food distribution, future plans, etc. is to be conducted through written messages. For the time being assumed, uh, assume that all your conversations are being monitored. Here's listening. Dominica. 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 Bro, who the fuck is opening doors? It always amazes me how short your memories are. I walk these corridors day after day and hear the growing whispers. What if he's right? Maybe he has a point. What if, what if? Let me remind those who have forgotten. When the battle of the bunker ended, we went looking for German civilian survivors. None were found alive. Must I remind you why? Because the bunker's machinery had removed them from the battlefield so they wouldn't interfere with the counter-attack. Only to suffocate them in one of the unventilated hangars. Is this the kind of effectiveness we are looking for? Is that the value we put on human life? I will say it once more. No! I will never allow these machines to be turned on again. Though I do agree with you, ma'am. Must now continue into the depths of mystery. So there's definitely somebody here. I don't know if maybe that could also just be the game. Trying to make you think there is somebody here, but there isn't. Maybe some sort of like I don't know, like a feel of you're going crazy, maybe. Order number 108. On Nazi doc on Nat a not net. Nazi documents are to be left untouched, uh, despicable as they are. We will not burn them. The Nazis already burn all evidence of their atrocities on their own. We do not need to aid them. When the war finally ends, and it will end, these documents will be used to expose them and hold them accountable. Other documents are to be stored in the fire room. Okay, good. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, what could that be? Could it be here? Look at this. Hello, can you hear me? Ah, it's not working. I need to find a control room. Of course it's not working. I'm telling you, this woman is lying to you, man. Wake up, smell the coffee. She's trying to kill you. It's locked. Yeah, I figured as much. Eh, doesn't hurt to try. You know? Is anyone up there? Fuck. 
Dude, the fact that I gotta ask is creeping me out. There's definitely somebody here. I mean, there's just fucking electricity everywhere. Please don't leave. I knew that the others were considering leaving. I just never realized you were one of them. If you go, Dominica, Dominica, uh, won't let us see each other ever again. You know that she doesn't allow any of his fo of his followers to interact with us. Uh, is his superstitious gibberish more? Is his super is his superstitious gibberish more important to you than me? expect like at all oh whoa all right, that camera's broken that's locked those two doors are locked about this one fucking hell wow that looks good somebody pops up i'm going to freak and why do i not have a reflection on a mirror that makes, <laughs> that makes no sense god man this game is visually stunning think there's somebody here just saying what does this note say let's see i went out mushroom picking not that i thought i'd find any mind but because i like wandering amongst the trees so i stumbled upon a gnarled beach looked up and over by a clump of thistle i saw white she goats a miracle i thought because there hasn't been a living creature to be found since we ate the last 10, 10 years back. Wait, since we, since we found, since we ate the last 10, 10 years back. And lo and behold, a goat. Where could it have been from? Right away, I thought Vels must have favored us to send a blessing like that. I walked up to it and didn't run. It let me rope it and walked back to the settlement by my side like a dog in a leash i went straight to the high priest to share the wonderful news i hoped it'd give us milk and healing properties it's gotta be something here dude Order number eight. Any German uh, occupier still hiding in the shelter is to be sought, put on trial, and sentenced for their crimes. That includes civilians, workers, and of course, military personnel. This goes for any Polish collaborator as well. Dominica. 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 I don't know, man. It's like one o'clock in the morning here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now. The fuck? Hmm. It must be a key to the locked doors. Mm. 
must or no? It is. Order request. I'm writing to you again. It's a request permission to use Nazi technology. People are starving. You cannot continue to live in the dark like this. How many more women have to suffer miscarriages before you see this clearly? I will write to you every single day until you realize that there is no other way. Oh, shit. What was that? Oh. Oh, dear. Very beautiful room indeed. So this was her room. Interesting. Fuck, this game is full of mysteries, man. Please open up. Please just, just open up. There it is. Just open up. Dominica. Dominica. <laughs> Fuck. Fine. I will leave. Anyone who wants to join me is welcome to do so. But to those who choose to stay, I ask, where do you draw the line? You are happy to reap the rewards, but unwilling to pay the proper respects. You ignore the divine powers of uh, that gave you the luxuries. If you decide to bow your heads to the gods that made it, uh, made it all possible, come with me. Luck Jack. another control room where the hell is she nothing but lies i tell you communication is working uh, clearly not we'll have to find a workaround what if I know it's not ideal but given the circumstances this will have to do for now I'd like you to press the button if you can hear me Dobrze. 
Let's try another experiment, shall we? Mm, as I suspected, this won't be straightforward. There's some sort of safeguard block in my input. Now, this makes no sense. Why build a huge machine with this much computing power and then make it impossible for the operator to use it? Unless... It doesn't want me to make any changes. It wants you to make them. Of course. I just tried to access the part of the system. Can you enable it? That's it. It worked. Okay. Let's not waste any more time. You always said you wanted your own garden someday. The bigger the better. What do you feel like planting? But I feel like this is a trick. This is probably could, could it be from some of the information that we gathered? I don't remember, dude. Wheats. Water. Remember, we must be careful not to overwater the crops. Okay, true. Well, I'm an idiot, so I'll go for automatic. What's happening? We must have initiated the automated calibration cycle. It's overloading the system. Remember, we prepared for this. Oh, shit. We need to disable some of these processes before... You have to authorize each change. I can only request them for you. Now, disable them as quickly as possible. That's it. Now for the next one. Day night cycle disable. You're doing great. Why well, thanks. I don't feel like I am, but thanks. Ah, it's no use. Oh fuck. That's it. We're turning it off. He turned it on. I don't think he's supposed to do that. Who cares? I haven't heard from you since that jump. Do you know how worried I was? Are you alright? Well, are you? I'm fine. Then why didn't you say so? Where are you? I haven't seen you on my monitors. Lucian used to live here. The man you've been looking for. Wait, so you found the living quarters. Good. According to my map, they are on level 3. I'll try to find you with the cameras. I don't want to lose sight of you anymore. Do you understand? We need to stay focused, okay? Please tell me you understand. Okay. Ricky! Very freaky.
She's a very freaky girl. Yeah. Okay, let's head down below. I'm being honest, I was kind of lost in that fucking computer for with the craps and all that. You know? A little lost there. And now she just mentioned her name finally to us. That's that's just beautiful. My name is Shimon. Nice to meet you, Shimon. I'm Shimon. sorry if I came across as cold before. After we talked, I realized how selfish it was of me to expect you to make that stupid jump. My first thought was to scream out your name to stop you, but then I realized that I don't even know what it is. So, I'm sorry. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. You don't have to worry anymore. Everything is fine. I will find you. And then, we will figure this all out. Thank you, Shimon. Mm. Do that now. You want to open up that door for me? Oh, actually, wait. I got the key. Never mind. Never mind. I still don't trust her. Like, one bit. Like, I just do not trust her at all. Okay? Okay. Okay. This is interesting. All right, guys. So we are going to end this video here. We're about two hours into the game. I've been recording for two hours. So we're about halfway through it. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. Um, if you did, you, you would like to see the last and final part, uh, let it be known. Drop it a like if that's something you guys are into. Very, very, very interesting game. Who is this? woman eva what was her name eva eva something like that can we trust her i don't know will we find this mysterious man that we're looking for i don't know but we'll find out on the next episode thanks for watching guys catch you later